Good morning and welcome to another episode of our vlog. We're up nice and early this morning to take Sky to the vets. She's um she's gonna be spayed this morning. Um last week she had another episode of going through heat and it kept us awake most of the night and it's something that we need to get done before moving into the van anyway so she doesn't get there's no risk of getting pregnant if she's outside of the van or anything. So yeah, we're gonna take her to the vets now and she's gonna be dropped off and she's gonna be spayed so no kittens for Sky, which is very sad, but it's something that has to be done. What do you think, Sky? Do you agree? So I just got home from the vets with Sky. Her operation was successful, which is good. Um, she's very wobbly and a bit disorientated, but she has a cute little red jacket on now. She just tried to um, <laughs> jump off the bed and because um, she's a bit disorientated she just landed and fell into the radiator bless her but um yeah so she's just gonna hopefully sleep up here for the rest of the day she looks a bit dopey and she's um she's very nervous because obviously we've she's mostly grown up through lockdown so she hasn't been integrating or mixing with many people and um so she gets a little bit nervous at the vets and stuff so i'm just gonna try to get her to rest now maybe she's a bit wobbly so we're gonna have a nap and um We'll catch you later and update you on how she's doing. So just a quick Sky update after her operation. She is now out of her little jacket. And if I can try to get her to this side, I can show you her little bit where she's been. So she's absolutely fine. She wasn't moving around for like the first three days because of um, we thought she was like in a lot of pain and stuff. But it just turns out the jacket is quite restrictive and she didn't like it. So she literally just sat on the sofa for three days straight. So we went to the vets for her checkup appointment and the vet was like, it's healing really well, we can take the jacket off and she's been a little monster ever again. So after it's felt like weeks and weeks of gray cloud and rain, the sun has finally come out for our bank holiday weekend. And um, it's the last week that we're gonna be uh, in this area before we set out in the van. So it's kind of the last final push um, to sorting things out, getting everything ready and figuring out what we need to put in the van and last minute jobs. So um, today we're gonna to enjoy the sun and just have a bit of a chill day, aren't we? So where were we off to? We're gonna go get some snacks and some food and then we're gonna sunbathe in the garden to get our base level tan ready because we look really white and really pasty <laughs> after all the winter weather. Well, Johnny will tan probably for half an hour and he'll already be a nice color, whereas it takes quite a long time for me. <laughs> So um, yeah, so we're going to enjoy the weekend sunshine and have a nice relaxing day. It looks like quite sticky though, if you get in it you're not going to come out. We just heard this cat meowing in the bushes. <laughs> So it's now six days until we get on the road and we're just doing all the finishing touches this week. We're hoping to get most of the painting, all of the little detail painting bits done today, which means that we should be able to start packing the van up tomorrow and having everything pretty much ready. Um, so yeah, it's all hands on deck at the moment. So Hannah's just at the back doing some painting down here. And I'll give you a quick run around the van to show you what's going on. because It's all a bit of a mess at the moment because we're just doing all these final little bits. So we are, we, where would we get last get? We've put our shower holder in here. So we now have a shower. Um, that's currently sitting in the sink. It's a little pump shower. Works really well. Pretty happy with that. And then we are also installing a um, digital mirror up here. So it's got a camera at the back so we can see what's going on behind us because we don't have any windows at the back. And um, we've also installed this little spice rack, which we really like. And we think we might actually put another one here. And then we've just been painting everything so that doors are all done with the handles. All of the back handles are on the doors now have all their magnets. So they're nice and strong to open. Um, we've also done all the lower cabinets down here. Uh, one job I do need to do is sand all of the sides down to make them run a bit smoother and also do the faces on these two. This bin store is all done now, so that cabinet's all finished. So you put the magnets on there as well. 
and then on these bits it's just finishing touching up little bits of paint around here where we um, haven't done that yet because we didn't have the right masking tape to cover the wood worktop and then yeah we're just um, currently putting some extra slats of wood up the top there to finish off the ceiling and then we still got to do the ceiling bit here so it seems like a lot but there's not that much more to do so Hannah's back here painting away yeah and we'll Ham do about like three coats of this <laughs> I wish we'd gone with a darker colour but hopefully the white will make it feel a bit bigger yeah but so, we were I, tempted to maybe paint it the same colour as the kitchen cabinets but yeah so I already did a coat for you didn't I but it's um yeah. it's the doors were grey before the wooden bits were grey so um, it's taken a quite a lot, of, quite a few. Why do you want to paint this? Because it just looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. It better look better. <laughs> so yeah, and it's um, it makes it really hard in the sun, doesn't it? Because it's so warm at the moment that the heat's just drying the paint out really quickly. And it's making it really like tacky when yeah, you're painting. Yeah, got to be quick. And then the other thing that we've got to do is we've decided that we're going to trim our table down a little bit because it's quite heavy at the moment for the stand, and also we're going to then have it sliding in like this, which means that we don't have to have it sitting down. It's just a bit of a um, a hazard at the moment if we go around anything it's not secured down and it's just really complicated to do lying down like this and then also bits that we want to have in the back are just going to be taken up by the table so yeah we're going to have it slide in like that then we're going to have some like runners hit along the top here that will secure it along the top and bottom so that's the decision we've made on that and um, then we just need a box of all the electrics to protect those so yeah it's starting to look um, really good it's starting to feel like home and once the mattress and the soft furniture are in it's um, it feels like it's almost ready isn't it yeah yeah, it's just lots of painting. Good morning. So today it's my first dose of my COVID vaccine. So that's really exciting. Just got to go and get that now, get on the road. And um, yeah, I'll let you know how it feels afterwards. We were shooting a wedding this weekend, actually. So hopefully I don't really have any side effects because I've heard quite a few people having uh, mild side effects and flu-like symptoms afterwards. So hopefully it all goes well and I'll update you when I get back. So I've just had my vaccine. Feel fantastic, feel fine. No... Um, nothing yet if there is going to be anything um the lady sitting in front of me after we were waiting she did pass out which was uh, a bit worrying <laughs> everyone was watching but i think it was just because it was hot inside and then the um the nurses had us sitting by the back door of the breeze and um she seemed much fine when i left so yeah all good so hopefully um yeah stay fine and um yeah we're getting vaccinated now so what are you up to i'm building a support structure so we can basically put cladding up here so I'm having to build it out from the wall and I've glued some like foundation in and then I've been laying up some blocks of wood to be able to put these bits of cladding up so there's two more bits of cladding to go I've just got to put a few more bits of support in there and then it's all going to be done. Yeah so once you've done that you can finish the ceiling as well can't you and then box in all that bit and uh, do you want to explain what your little sticker is on your chest? Oh, I think I already filmed a bit of it. But yeah, <laughs> okay. I've got back from my vaccine now, so I'm all well. I've had my first vaccine, so and you're yeah. feeling all right, aren't you? Yeah, no side effects so far, which is good because we've got a wedding on Saturday and we don't want to get ill for that. Well, don't point me with that saw. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just gotta finish this for the rest of the day now. Almost there. Yeah, almost there. So, we're thinking maybe because we've got a little shelf there, but we're thinking maybe we could have something or we can have little prints or something on there. Just um, it's another bit of space. Because we were like going to carpet across, it, weren't we? we? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool to have those. Yeah. Then I guess... Lots of options. Knock your head on it. Yeah, thing. I think maybe some prints or something, just something yeah. nice to look at. Exciting stuff. Yeah, we've got basically one day left, haven't we, till... Yeah, so I've got tomorrow to finish everything off, to have it all tight. We're going to clean it all tomorrow, and then yeah, we've got our wedding on this mess. Saturday, <laughs> and then basically we leave on Monday. So not much time, really, to finish it. So there's going to be things that aren't finished, but... Yeah. It's pretty much 99% there. So my job is doing the window covers for the van. So we have got window covers already for the front bit of the van, but we need some for the side windows. So this is what I'm doing. So we've got our lovely fabric here, um, which is kind of like curtain upholstery fabric. And um, we've got our Reflectix, which is gonna go in the middle. So we're basically going to put reflectics in the middle, the fabric either side, and then I've got some of this, which is binding tape, and it will go along the edge um, once we've got the fabric on top that I need to cut now. So this is number one, and it's taken a while, but I'm hoping that once I've done the first one, 
it should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and we're also going to put um, some little magnets in the edge. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Oh, <laughs> the magnets have now stuck all the pins onto them. Um, so yeah, and keep them away from each other. But yeah, so basically gonna try and put some little magnets. Not sure whether I will be able to put that within the binding, it might be a bit too tight, or um, add some little kind of pockets along the edges um, so that it can basically stick to the van um, outside of the window. So yeah, it'll give us a bit of privacy at night and also um, keep the heat in and the heat out as well during the daytime. So, wish me luck. Good morning, everybody. It's been a crazy couple of days. We shot a wedding at the weekend, which was really nice. And then um, we've just been scrambling to get everything ready in the van for today, because we're actually leaving today. Um, so yesterday we worked uh, some long hours to get everything finalised. It's not 100% there yet, there's still things that need to be finished, but we're happy with where it's at to get on the road today. So yeah, we're going to start our adventures from today. So we're just packing everything up, we're putting all our clothes in, all of the stuff that we're going to need, and then we're going to get on the road. So we'll let you know where we're going to go probably in the next video, um, because we don't want to give away any secrets just yet, although it's a big secret. But yeah, it's been exhausting, but the sun's out and we can't wait to hit the road. So guys, we, um, we've left, we're about three hours into our journey so far and we've just stopped for a quick break um, to get some late lunch and also to give the cats a break. They've been, um, when we did this last year, we um, let them out of their cat carriers, but this time we've kept them in just because it's a new van and- um, They're sleeping now. They're sleeping, well Tia's just woken up. <laughs> but um, we're they're gonna like, give them a toilet break. Let us out, let us out. But they've been really good, but they meowed quite a bit. Gotta come out now. Oh, where are we? We're near the sea. <laughs> We're in Western Supermare, aren't we, at the minute? Yeah, just at Tesco. Tesco car park to get some food and what else do we need to get? Just give the cats a break. Give the cats a break. We can have some food and water and give them a chance just to get used to their surroundings. Yeah. Um, so we've got, we've got to show them their new litter tray because they haven't actually seen it yet, so hopefully <laughs> they go in that. Yeah, hopefully they don't pull on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's film this for oh no, she, oh, she out she goes. I was gonna film that. Too. First toilet experience. That's where you poop when we eat. <laughs> we, we start, I sound like I'm talking to like a baby. This is how we talk to our cats. <laughs> I wonder oh, if she Baba? was thinking, um, oh, that looks like a nice cave to sit in. Oh, wait, it's a toilet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's our list. Yet to be, we need to go through and tick the things. It's almost finished. <laughs> That's ticked. That's almost ticked. That's ticked. Yeah, I need the pen. We'll do that later. But for now... Look at these two stretching their legs after... What do you think, girls? Can you see a scratch post? Look. Ooh. What's this? Sky? They'll just get used to it, won't they? What's this? Tia looks like she's doing something there. You better not be pooing. Tia. And Sky is just chilling on the floor here in the sun, having a little bit of a sunbathe. They're both pretty tired from the journey so far, so it's nice that they're both feeling pretty relaxed and pretty tired. And Tia's just, uh, pretty Hannah's pretty. just given Tia some food, so she's having a munch on the bed. <laughs> Look at this spoilt behaviour. Food in the bed. <laughs> Let's face it, that's what we're going to be doing too. <laughs> so we just, um, we did a food shop, and so we've just got some food to put away, and we're just cooking our first meal in the van, which is going to be some yummy pasta. Was that alright with Madam? Pasta is my favourite. <laughs> and um, Sky is currently doing Sky's thing when she gets in the van, sitting on the front and pushing all the buttons. And Tia is looking for somewhere to sleep. So we'll see where she finds out where to go. I think she wants to go to bed, but Hannah's on the bed at the moment. There's room for two. <laughs> So we've just arrived for where we're staying for tonight and it's, um, it's pretty late already. I'm gonna make some dinner and then we're gonna get to bed. So we're gonna finish this video here and then we'll start the next one tomorrow and we'll be showing you where we're going. 
over the next uh, few weeks. So we've got like pretty much a whole month of traveling and touring around um, the UK. So we're gonna start with like a nice relaxing um, beaches and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we can't wait to see you in the next one. That's what we do.